It's the breath, the pulse, the lifeblood of the community. It moves more than 3 million people from their homes to various places around the region more than 300 days a year. It's the heartbeat of the region, the Birmingham Jefferson County Transit Authority. The BJCTA is an important plank to the region's economic stability. BJCTA's vision is to provide safe, reliable, and excellent transportation and other mobility services that contribute to the region's economy, vitality, and sustainability. We're calling on our leaders to support funding to improve, expand, and build our public transportation system. I think we need to look at it differently than we have in the past. If you can continue to show the economic benefit to the entire system, then I think people will begin to come around. If you can change the mindset and demonstrate, one, it's efficient, two, it's clean, and three, it will save you money. That's the selling point that you have to make to people. The Birmingham Jefferson County community is diverse. It offers 200 miles of service from Hoover to the downtown streets of Alabama's most prosperous city, and we need to continue expanding. Computer program developer Birmingham resident Marcus Dillavu says the most vital service a transit system can provide is dependability. There's still a lot of ideas about what the system is, a lot of incorrect ideas, and we need advocates, we need young advocates to go out and really talk to the citizens and educate the citizens on where the system is now and how it can be useful for them. My generation wants convenience and ease of use. And so the first thing that they're gonna do when they look at a transit system is they're gonna look at what technology is around it. More than 60% of the people who ride BJCTA buses own one car, and almost 20% have two. A survey of Birmingham's largest employers revealed that more drivers would ride the bus if more routes with increased frequency existed. Birmingham business leaders say giving commuters the option of having a robust public transit system could be the difference between encouraging job growth in some industries or driving it away. There's a dire need for consistent investment in American infrastructure. A study by the Economic Development Research Corporation projects that 480,000 new jobs, representing $32 billion per year in income, will be at risk due to congestion by 2040. Many of the communities around the country have fairly robust mass transit systems. Most people in our community don't connect the dots between the needs that our community has for mass transit and the services that are provided to members of our community. If we lost the transit that we have, the opportunities for our community to grow would be limited. The BJCTA received funds to obtain a fleet of natural gas vehicles as seven new commuter vehicles to support express service on Highway 280, a Birmingham airport shuttle, and service between Hoover and Bessemer. The transit system recently launched Google Maps, trip planning technology, and is currently building a new intermodal station that will include Amtrak, inner city, and local bus service. These are a few national trends we've been able to implement just to keep up with industry standards. However, we still have plenty of work to do. 81-year-old Tarrant, Alabama mayor and transit supporter Loxiel Tuck wants to see a return to times when more people rode buses because they were convenient, popular, and available to the entire community. You could catch a bus or miss a bus and seven minutes later there'd be another bus come along. And when we would ride the bus, it would be full, especially in the afternoons coming home from work. The Birmingham Jefferson County Transit Authority has several untapped possibilities, making transit a first choice for all types of travelers. One draws from a pool of four million people who spend $1.5 billion in the metropolitan region every year, tourists. Most cities, they give you options. You can either rent a car, you can have a taxi, you can get the public transportation to your destination. And we want to offer those same luxuries to the travelers to our area as well by giving them options. Other sources for increased ridership are area colleges. Providing routes to them and other educational hubs could boost enrollment at these schools and at the same time help to develop a versatile, sought-after workforce. It's estimated over 80,000 people work downtown. It's probably as much a, a, a change of our culture, our mindset about how we need to, to move around uh, within the community, within the metropolitan community, as it is the, the matter of 
the transportation vehicle itself. Our future growth depends upon it. When we try to recruit businesses to this area, they look at how they can get their workers, their employees, to a job site. When we're trying to attract companies to an area, if they don't see that you have a proper system in place of public transportation, it puts you a little bit lower on the totem pole and it lessens your chances of being able to attract that business to your area. We have a vision to make Birmingham's mass transit system as great as any city in America. A transit system that other cities models theirs after. A system that citizens would prefer as an option and not a last resort. Why shouldn't Birmingham be like Austin? Why shouldn't we be as good as DC? Why can't we be as innovative as Denver? The question is not why, it's what are we waiting for? Investing in our transit system, ensuring we have updated technology, new equipment, proper maintenance, expanding services, appropriate staffing is a game changer. It's time to get moving.